Hey Jeff and Jen Buck here from Club Properties. We got Josh Blank with us today and he's going to talk to us about the Sarasota real estate market, a little bit about his company and Trend Realty. Trend Realty and what he That's does right. to help motivate his agents and and here we go. So Josh, Let's what's going on? Josh. Hey guys, thanks so much for having me on today. Our pleasure. Yeah, Josh, what's this guy in the background in the picture here? Is this, is this a champion? Yeah, it's a little, uh, yeah, a little Rocky Balboa for you. That, you know, there you, you go. Motivation. Um, it's not how hard you hit, it's how hard you can get hit. And as you guys know, <laughs> if you're an entrepreneur or you're in business, uh, you're going to take some hits, you're going to take some shots, you're going to take some punches. So uh, he's, 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 our, he's our mascot. <laughs> so Josh, if, if I worked for your company, would I have to run up a big flight of stairs to prove myself or am I in no matter what? You got to do a round in the ring, you know? Okay. <laughs> well, I was looking at your roster and I think there's a few people on your on your roster that I could take. But, uh, <laughs> We're not naming any names right. though. <laughs> uh, so, I'm sure there's some, but it, there might be a couple to surprise you. I think what, they're scrappy. What drew you to Sarasota, Josh? Sarasota, Florida? You know, I used to go down to Fort Myers quite a bit, and uh, I like Fort Myers. I enjoy the area. We have an office there. But when I came to Sarasota, I realized there was just something special about it. The First of all, the sand and the water is really, really unique. It's the closest you can get to like Caribbean color and clarity um, in Southwest Florida from my experience. Uh, the beaches are great, and I just love the, the cultural arts of the downtown area. Um, it's very um, eclectic and artful and tastefully done. So that's really uh, some of the things. Number one was the, obviously the weather, but the beach and the water was, uh, I mean, it's just gorgeous. So that's that's what really grabbed me. Well, Living that, in paradise. I know, that's what we're selling for sure. Uh, it's Siesta Key, and we're gonna be looking at a few properties out there and, and one of your listings and a few others. This is broker reciprocity data. So we're pulling out some listings from our our website, which is countryclub.property. So we want to show folks how they can find things for sale and 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 do a little bit more research. And so Siesta Key, Siesta Beach, is famous because the sand is white sandy sandy beaches, and it's quartz. actually quartz. So you could walk on it, you could like fall asleep on it, and you'd be fine if the sun didn't get you. But the sand would be beautiful and cool, right? So absolutely, Josh, we're gonna we're gonna look at a listing that you guys have out on Siesta. And we're gonna check it out. And if you could tell me, uh, would you take a third party out of state check <laughs> for this listing? This is um, four bedroom, four bath, it's gorgeous. And I, I was looking at it on the map. And um, so I have the map view up and I just wanna give folks who are, who are looking at this a, a perspective of like Siesta Key and, and where this listing is in relation to the rest of the of the island. So it's perfect for a boater. Yeah, it looks perfect for a boater. It's right on the water. And um, can you tell me a little bit about Siesta? What you like about this property? Yeah, absolutely. So I moved to Siesta. That's actually where I lived uh, for the first five years. I was in Sarasota and really enjoyed it. This particular property is gorgeous waterfront um, on the intercoastal. It's got a ton of you know deep water boating, which is nice. So many times, like we lived on Siesta on, on the inner canals, which was fun, but you have to have a pretty, um, let's call it a uh, humble boat. Uh, whereas this place <laughs> being on the intercoastal, you could put the Mac Daddy of boats out there. We had somebody interested, and I think they had a 50 footer. We thought that might be a little too big, but uh, you could definitely put a 30 foot, 40 foot boat back there. And uh, it, it would, not only is the house gorgeous, but a little comedy lifestyle, you know? And so that's one of the things I really liked about Siesta was the lifestyle, the dining, uh, the nightlife, and the boating. I mean, the beach and the boating was uh, one of the reasons people tell me today, uh, you're a little dark, what's going on? Well, I just love being <laughs> out of the water. <laughs> I don't know when you have time for the water, Josh, because I know you're a hard worker running yes. your brokerage. <laughs> so just I checking this out a little bit. Right? <laughs> this is close to the village. You ever go down to the Sieski Village area and listen oh, to the Oh yeah, music? we spent many a night spent in the village. Many afternoons too. And it's getting great happy hours. The dining is great. There's some little kind of hole in the wall places that the, the locals love, and then they've got all the the high-end bougie restaurants. You know, not chains. That's one of the things I like about Siesta is. You've got like 
uh, organic mom and pop type shops where it's not just a bunch of fast food chains or chain restaurants, which is really cool. So um, the cottage is a, a, one of the restaurants that I really enjoy down there. They have a, a tuna appetizer, which is just out of this world. So yeah, love the village. Okay, Josh, a couple of quick little things for our millions of viewers here we want to go over is, um, <laughs> So uh, Club Properties is a member of five boards of realtors in Florida and and you're in the Sarasota market, which would be the mid Florida. And, and that goes all the way out to Orlando and down south and up north and Tampa. And so you can help folks anywhere in that area, probably anywhere down. I know you're also a member of the Fort Myers board. Is that that's correct, right, Josh? Yeah, that's correct. We have two offices, one in Sarasota, one in Fort Myers. We cover, I've sold homes in Orlando, in Orlando Tampa, St. Pete. Bradenton, Sarasota, Punta Gorda, Fort Charlotte, uh, Fort Myers, you name it, we've done it. And that's kind of our stopping grounds. Well, let me ask you, we feel like you have a really great team. I know we've been into your office and what do you think makes your agent special? Why does someone want to choose Trend Realty? I think it's culture. You know, we're not, uh, I'm not a broker who brings the top performer out and brags about that person in front of other people. Our culture is a very symbiotic, helpful culture. So. Uh, my more seasoned agents are literally in the office rather than kind of hoarding the information and keeping, okay, this is the new thing that works. We share. And so my senior agents help my junior agents and my junior agents are willing to learn. And that's the culture. That's that's the way I wanted real estate to be. I didn't like the, uh, the peacocking and the, uh, the competitiveness internally. I thought that was ridiculous. You know, some of these big box companies, they just want to take the, the biggest agent and make them the hero brag on them and we just don't work that way. If your goal is to sell five homes uh, in your real estate career, we want you to keep 100% of your commission and we want to help you sell those five. If your goal is to sell 50 homes a year, um, I can help you do that as well. My first year in the business, I did 100 home sales myself. Um, and my first year in Sarasota, I was able to do 10 million. So I really focus wow. on things that matter. I don't want agents to do But again, it's not all about quality of life, not quality of dollars. I mean, I didn't move to Florida uh, to try to make a million dollars. I moved to Florida for the quality of life. So my agents can keep 100% of their commission and enjoy their life. I think that's the point. Well, I think people who are enjoying their life can share that with other people. And I think like if I were coming down to buy real estate in this area, I'd want someone who's happy, who's living the lifestyle that I want to live and being relaxed. Yeah, when we were doing a trip, when we were in your office during your office meeting, you know, you got such a great group of folks and you're part of our referral network. So when folks contact us at Club Properties and they want they want to find an agent in, say, Sarasota, we're going to steer them to you and you're going to get the best person that's going to help them out. They and, want a listing on Derby Lane. Yeah, they want a listing on Derby Lane. <laughs> They're ready to buy. And I think, you know, leadership filters all the way through to the agent and then out to to the client that they bring on and make everybody happy. So Josh, let's look at another property. You're making me want to buy another Siesta property, but I did want to yeah. say that uh, the, and, and I'm not your financial advisor and, and <laughs> these are just my opinions, but as far as any place in the world, and I've been all, a lot of countries and I would say Siesta Key is probably one of the most rock solid investment places you can do. And I'm not giving you investment advice, but I'm just saying, Everybody's happy on Siesta Key. It's it's beautiful beaches. They're immaculately maintained. They they tractor them up every day. They you know they're they're super you know low low crime, easy going. Everybody's happy. Everyone's there on vacation. There's lots of families and as soon as you drive over the bridge, you, you instantly feel, feel it, relaxed. Right. It's an energy. So there's a mix of condos and single family homes and beachfront properties and. And, and there's something for everybody. And I know I lived out there as well, and I lived in an old bungalow, and it's still there to this day. It's like, now it's even an older bungalow, but <laughs> we're gonna look at, you know, let's check out let's check out one of these listings here that we were looking at earlier. This one's on. We're uh, looking for you to give us your opinion, Josh. Well, just positive yeah. opinions, this Given Street. So what we did is we went to our website, and we went to the advanced Country, search. Countryclub.properties. Countryclub.properties, and we went to the advanced search, and we put in, uh, Sarasota and we put in gated and golf communities just to see what will come up and and these are the results that came up and along with your awesome listing we were gonna look at a couple other ones and this one uh, kind of piqued my interest so I'm gonna pull it up and it's also right on the water and it has some just beautiful views and this go ahead Jen tell us a little bit about it 
Well, let's see. Um, it says it's the only direct golf front home and built in 2005 uh, on all of Siesta Key, currently available. Uh, looks like a nice, I mean, beautiful water views. Yeah, right. I love this the modern architecture. architecture. Pool. Pardon? I'm a huge fan of modern architecture. So right. it had me at being contemporary. Um, I really love that. That's just that, that type of architecture, clean and simple lines. I'm a huge fan of. So immediately I'm attracted to it. Yeah, Sarasota has a, a history of, of modern, you know, architecture and has a lot of has a lot of homes that are really they've gone out there and done some really amazing designs and and so it's kind of like this is gorgeous if you get the opportunity to build a house like this especially on the beach i mean you know that's a dream come true right there Look at well there's view. no water like the gulf the gulf i mean the gulf is just like i know josh was saying it's like just amazing the colors are amazing look at that oh my god that's imagine cool. that that's your backyard right there uh, it's yeah, it's so, incredible, right? Like, I mean, let's look it, at, that's, that looks like it's by Big Pass or it could be in right next to Big Pass. And that's just a beautiful part of the water there. So here's the old, okay, so for example, and I'm just pulling up the Google map. Right now I'm, I'm centered in on the village. On the village, right? And so oh, the old yeah, salty you're, dog. You're right, you're right golf right there, that's beautiful. Right. What I like is it's just outside the village, so you can just yeah. kind of walk home. Look at that. That's like, I don't know. Three, Walking home from the yeah. village is awesome. <laughs> three that's blocks. That's a great selling point. Right, right. And then we're looking at the Gulf of Mexico. Oh, yeah. That's even through the past. That's right. beautiful. Yeah. So you see how the color is like later there. There's sandbars that pop up there, and voters will pull up, and it it's changes every year. But there's sandbars right off there where you'll see people bringing their dogs and parking their boat right there. It's good energy and super fun. Um, and that water is crystal clear blue. You will absolutely love that area. It's right through the Big Pass. If you go right over the Big Pass, let's say you, you swam across, you'd be right on, <laughs> on Lido Key. And, and no, then don't you, swim across. Don't swim across. <laughs> no, don't swim across. Don't do that. But there's St. Armand Circle right over there. And then just north is Moat Marine Laboratory, which is a great marine laboratory it's been around the community forever and well, then there's the bay the bayfront i mean there's just if you're a boater there's so many amazing places to go mm. in sarasota so if you there were really a boater is. right and you jumped in you could boat over to the ringling the Cotazon museum there's longboat key i mean this is just one of the nicest places in in the in the area i mean it's, it's just gorgeous i know it says there's an outdoor kitchen i was like thinking oh right. how great how nice would that be oh, to my goodness hang out out there with your friends josh do you cook for your clients do you, do you <laughs> no there's no cooking if i cook for you you will no longer be my client <laughs> <laughs> I'll buy you all, dinner, right, well, all right probably wise to know your strengths yeah. josh yeah, i got one more great. listing i got one yeah. more listing for you to look at and this one interests me because for one, I, I don't know why, but I love the the open kind of shell area because you know how, I don't know, it's like an open space. And let me show you where this, this is. This reminds me of old old Sarasota, old Siesta Key. Okay, this is down south, yeah. All right, so it's Blind Pass Road. So here's Turtle Beach right up here. Yeah, so Turtle is a little bit more of like a chill beach. The Siesta public beach is a little bit more hopping. Uh, you'll have drum circle there at night. It's a little bit more touristy, of course. And Shell Beach, and, I'm sorry, Turtle is um, much less known. So you're gonna have privacy, a little bit more of a relaxed vibe, and these kind of up and down line pass there are great investments. They're still very affordable. Uh, some of the homes and, and you know, condo units that are there, they're not you know, super expensive. So just north of the property, this listing here, you can see there, there are tons of condos right there. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. That building has kind of like really tough still. Uh, with really? regard to you know, each front property, yeah, absolutely. Well, what we, if I want to see a unit in there, Josh? How do I do that? How do I do that? Yeah. Contact you somebody. Properties, right? <laughs> Who would I call? <laughs> <laughs> Look, Josh, well, you can to to you out with that. Great. You you can put your boat in right here, which I think is neat too. So you're right. This yeah. is old. This is kind of old school Florida, and but we grew up here, and and this is, hasn't changed much since then. But look at this listing from above. You have the Gulf of Mexico in the front yard, and the bay in your backyard. 
It's pretty amazing. Could be better. And what is our price there on the listing? Do you have that? Because I mean, it, it is. It, yes, it, it's one million eight hundred ninety thousand nine hundred. One point eight for that. I mean, that house in like a California or another uh, tropical climate would be five to ten million dollars. So I can't. Million eight might sound like a lot of money. That's a bargain for. That is know, a bargain. Josh, think about that. The steel. <laughs> you got. You got. Gulf of Mexico on once in the front and the bay in the back. I don't even think. I mean, for under two million dollars, I I'm kind of blown away. Amazing. By that and look, it's super it's cool. Look at go back. Beautiful. Right? I mean, a lot of people are you know buying these not just for their own enjoyment, but they'll they you know one op one option here in CS is group a bunch of investors, mm -hmm. buy a property like this, do a little rental, enjoy it yourself, watch it appreciate. You know, higher tax states like New York, like uh, California, people are flocking now to Florida because we have no state income tax and our real estate taxes are very low compared to these other high tax states. I'm from Illinois. Every single year uh, in Illinois, if you had a half million dollar property, your taxes would be about $15,000 a year. So 3% of the value of the home every year. Here in Florida, it's more like 1%. So right. you can really get a, 1.8 million. I, I would venture to guess that the taxes are under 20,000 a year on this property. Uh, let's let's scroll down and just see well, what the. Well, so you know, again, we're just looking at what's pulling through the broker reciprocity data feed. It said the tax is 21,743. There you go. There you go. Right. Right. That that same property in uh, like a high tax state like in Illinois for that kind of value, you'd be paying close to sixty thousand dollars a year in taxes. Oh my God. Wow. I know Fox and, Business yeah. just. Fox Business just did a big article on why people are coming to Florida and how much how much our revenues are increasing every single year. People fleeing these high tax states. So I don't yeah. know. Ex I don't have like all the particulars on this property, but if you were saying about a vacation rental and you turn this into a vacation rental, um, you know you could have a wedding there. You could have a wedding right there, and you know you're on the beach. You could you know. I mean, fishermen Big. would rent this place. You could probably rent this. I mean, what do you think you, this would rent out for vacation? Oh my rentals? gosh, huge numbers. I huge mean, we numbers. have people spending thirty and forty and fifty thousand dollars a month. Uh, we have celebrities, uh, professional athletes come to Sarasota. I mean, you you name it, the, the cream of the crop are coming here, spending their money, spending their time. So right. you'd be well, well, well into the five figures on a property like this uh, on a monthly. Uh, rental. This would really generate a ton of income. So think about that. And sorry, that's okay. Uh, for under two million dollars. So let's say you have a couple of million dollars, you want to invest it. Siesta Key waterfront property on the Gulf and the Bay at the same time for under two million, and then the income you could. I mean, twenty-two thousand dollars. You know, that's a lot of taxes, but not really compared to what you get and where you're at. So it's all relative to mm -hmm. the type of property. So. You know, that's that's doesn't seem like that much at all. This seems like a great bargain property for somebody to make anything they want out of it. Well, I mean, you couldn't pick a better location than no. Siesta Key for a vacation rental. No, right? I know. That's why I keep coming back to Siesta is the, the cream of the crop. What's area. your experience been with Josh with people who want to come down and do that sort of investing and, and covering their expenses? Maybe they're not really ready to come down yet and they um, you know, but they want to purchase property now. Do you find that it's easy for people to kind of cover their expenses by doing rentals? Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, if you were to buy a house in, you know, the middle of where I'm from in Chicago and the far west suburbs, nobody's going to pay you the kind of money. Nobody's paying interest there, right? So you can live here, you could rent that annually, or you could do this, you know, high end vacation rental stuff that they're doing all over Siesta Key, all over uh, all of our beaches. And you can generate huge returns uh, for that money. And again, one percent of the value of the property in real estate tax is low. Maybe twenty-two grand. That's not high at all for that kind of a property. Um, one wedding there, you know, one one March rental. Um, again, I don't know what the rental restrictions are, but I'm assuming you'd be able to rent that monthly. You could get it. You could generate a ton of it. So what I see a lot of people doing is. They'll borrow cheap money because we all know rates right now are in the threes, right? Three percent. So if you can, you know, rent, generate, um, you know, rental returns in the mid five figures uh, for a property like that, borrow money at three percent, it could be a winning formula. Obviously, 
Well, like you said, Jeff, I mean, I'm not an investment advisor, uh, but just play with the math, right? So if you have people that want to do something, maybe you need the stock market to walk right now, you want to buy something different in real estate. Um, the beautiful thing about real estate is you can depreciate it over time. There are legal facts uh, right now for real estate that, that really are uh, advantageous from a tax standpoint. So consult the CPA, consult an attorney, but there's real benefit to the properties. I, I agree. I was just talking to a good friend of mine and I was saying how the, the stock market, you know, goes up, then it goes down. And when it goes down, it hurts. It's really painful. And the next day it dropped like, I don't know, 500 points. And I was like, see, I told you. The there thing about it, right? I mean, it's <laughs> he like, loved that. I, I love saying I told you so. But the, the thing about real estate is, yes, you know, we went through a period where uh, properties got inflated and, and people bought more than they should have. But now I think a lot of that's stabilized. But even so, if the market's going to go down, I'd rather have something tangible like a, a beachfront home that I could, like you say, I could rent out for a month or two and cover all my costs. And then I'll ride the market one way or the other. You know what I would do during that time if I owned this property and the market went down, I would sit on this back porch, Josh. <laughs> uh, let me just show you this. I would, I would sit on this back porch. Is there a cocktail involved? I in would I would or? cry myself cry. to sleep Aww. from this yeah. shore and uh, the ocean, and then I would wake up and do it all over again. So sounds like you'd get over it quickly. I yeah, would. I, think I know. So. I, I think know. So. It's like I love tangible investments and. You know, Look, everybody up. needs a roof over their head, right? You got to have a place to live, and even in good and bad times, you know, celebrities, these A-listers, people who come down here, they still spend ridiculous money on rentals on vacations. I mean, even in downstairs, people have to rent a home. People do vacation still, so um, right. the right. speculation that happened the first time around is very different than what's going on now. We've seen a lot of appreciation, um, but there's two main factors I think are an issue, and one is we have interest rates that are still going down. They're low and they're going down right now. So I don't think we'll see a major setback. I could be wrong, but um, interest rates are going down right now. That's going to help real estate. I mean, there's no there's no doubt about it. So you've got that factor. And then number two, you have boomers are retiring and we are a no income tax state. So that is huge. I think if you put money in, in Sarasota, in Southwest Florida, I think you're gonna do well because of those couple of reasons. And in addition, there's not crazy loans uh, these days like there was then. People still have to put a down payment down. They're, they're not doing no income, no asset loan. But they're doing uh, very little of it compared to the first time around. Everybody was getting non-income verified loans, whereas now people are still, the, the banks are still vetting them. The banks are still looking at the borrower, which is a good thing. I'm a former banker, so I think the fundamentals seem better for me this time. Um, but I, like I said, the economic, the macroeconomic factors with interest rates being low and boomers coming to Florida and not having an income tax, I think we're set up for, uh, if not sustained growth, a softer landing here in other parts of the, in the country. Well, I know that nobody's flocking to the cold climates. You know? <laughs> nobody's like, I'm going to retire in uh, the you know, I'm not even going to mention some of the places, but people want to go right. where it's they can wear shorts and t-shirts, blue and skies, blue skies, and on the beach. Blue skies. So, but I would say, right. you know, you've made the money, you've you've worked hard. Now it's time to come down and and enjoy what you earned. So I know you mentioned, Josh, that you have some agents who really work siesta and know that market. Why do you think it's important that a person, a buy, potential buyer or a seller, works with someone who's really um, well-versed in that particular area? You know, when I first bought my property down here, I obviously didn't have a Florida real estate license or a broker license at the time. And I just got with a guy who had lived on Siesta for a lot of years. He was kind of a good old boy and he was a Georgia boy, but he'd lived in Florida for a long time. And I just trusted him. And you know, it's like, you don't want to live on this street. You don't want to live on that street. And hey, maybe the village is a little bit loud at night. For you. He just had an opinion. And I like the fact that if you're working with an experienced agent, somebody who's been on Siesta, like myself, one of my agents, I've lived there. So I've lived in five different homes on Siesta myself. Uh, I bounced around, I rehabbed a whole bunch. I can tell you um, where you can, you, know, you mentioned the village, so fun place, but so you have little children like I did. 
you don't want to be too close to the village at night or your kids can be waking up. So there's just these little nuances that I think will help people make a good decision um, when they come down. Well, I, you know, you're right. Uh, I, we had a place that was just a perfect distance from the village where we could hear the live music for free every night. And we we're <laughs> far enough away. We, we had our own parking. Right. It was great. So. I appreciate that. I appreciated it very much, and it's such a good energy. And Siesta Key is like no other place in the world. It really is. If I mean, I've been to the French Riviera, and I, I remember growing up thinking that that was the best beach in the world. And you know, it's got giant rocks on it, and it hurts your feet, and the rocks are hot. Siesta Key is yep. like it's the Gulf of Mexico, and so it just smooth sand. Well, for the miles. sand is always cool, cool, Never and refreshing, that. and. So I know that uh, if an agent were to watch this, Josh, and he or she wanted to sell real estate, you know, they could come to you and you could set them up in a market anywhere from Sarasota down to Fort Myers and Naples and, and that whole area, correct? Yeah, absolutely. We, we cover all those areas and we try to let our agents keep 100% of their commissions, which I think is it's so valuable when you're starting in a new career. So yeah, that's kind of the areas uh, we connect. And if you have other needs um, outside of our area, it sounds like you guys have connections in other parts of the, the Florida here as well. Yeah, we definitely do. We uh, we have we all have, over, all over, <laughs> all over Florida. We've been here for a long time, and we have. Thank you for asking. We have we belong to five different boards, so our whole idea is to partner up with awesome people like you and and help the folks that want to come down here. Because, like you were saying, if you don't really know the area, mm -hmm. you got to find somebody that you like, that you trust, and who knows the area. Yes. My mother was that way. She sold real estate for thirty years. She knew every street, everything. She, she, she was the, what you want. Is she had the knowledge of the community. Do you so. know that she arranged our marriage? Yes, she did. She <laughs> said, and, uh -huh. She's like, and I have a wife for she you. Was, yes, yeah, she was. Yes, she was my great. mentor in real estate years ago. Yeah. So, look at that. Look at I that. know, right? Market well, knowledge, right? That's right, exactly. So, Josh, thank you so much. This wasn't painful at all, well, right? Well, I want to let everyone know how they can reach out to Josh. Yeah. So why don't you tell people how they can contact you, Josh? Yeah, so I uh, appreciate that, guys. It's been a great time with you, as always. Uh, I love your web services and what you guys have done for me and my agents. I love this new product you guys have, uh, your website, your search functionality. If you're looking for a uh, 100% commission broker with the action cares and we'll return your phone call, you can check us out at trendrealty.io, like in Ocean. So that's trendrealty.io. Uh, you can email me at josh at trendrealty.io. Awesome. awesome. I, I don't know, Josh, am I trendy enough for you? I, I, <laughs> you uh, are. You are. You are. <laughs> <laughs> I have to feel, I have to act a little hipper when I'm around your company, right? you yeah. know, I, I wear my oh, cool got, shoes. Look, come on, you got, the, you got the earbuds, I got the old school, come on. Yeah, uh, right, right. Yes. Yeah, maybe it'll be a holiday gift for you this year, but um, thank you so much for being on our podcast, and we really appreciate it, and, and if you're up north, and you're freezing, and you're cold, and you're ready for this beautiful weather, come to Florida. Let us put you with the right person. No state taxes. Josh state will taxes. take you out. He'll buy you lunch and dinner and <laughs> he'll pay for your daughter's wedding. Okay. <laughs> uh, sorry, Josh. All right. We'll go to the cottage. We'll check out that sand and uh, we'll get you, you a go. cocktail on a boat ride. Awesome. There you go. So Jeff and Jen Buck here for, and with a special guest, Josh Blank. Thank you very Trend much. Trend Realty. Trend Realty in Sarasota, Florida. And this is podcast number five. And thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks, guys.